civil society organizations have asked the government not to spend money or make budgetary allocations to non-priority sectors and also avoid accumulating more debt. There was also a concern that the government focuses on covering up tax collection loopholes and maintaining some taxes that have been a burden to the taxpayers. The activities noted that the country is still in the recovery made after the COVID-19 lockdowns of 2020 and part of 2021. Now, the challenge that we've been having in the past under the sector, sector vote-based approach to allocation of resources, like I said, somebody will hold on to what he has regardless of the priorities under there. So now what the government is doing as of now, every financial year, you have to zoom the budget and the interventions they are in. What is still a priority? What is not a priority? So once we discover that there is some money on what is not a priority, given the circumstances, then that one will expand. And the resources are pulled and then they are repurposed to the priority areas. And it is the same strategy we are using actually to minimize escalation of the debt burden. The civil society organizations also noted that the Bank of Uganda increased the central bank rates, which means commercial banks will lend to the customers at higher interest rates. Annual average inflation increased to 4.4% for the 2021-2022, up from 4.3% in the 2020-2021, when inflation was at 5%. Based on uh, empirical studies, um, empirical studies show that in most uh, developing economies, the 5% target is a good target to achieve growth, while in advanced economies, they do about 2%, they target about 2%. So, yes, our objective is to keep inflation at 5%. Now we are 10%, but in the medium term, we hope to achieve this target. Thank you. According to the Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group, there was poor budget performance this year, which means some planned government programs were not implemented to the detriment of the common person. To say that yes, last year we had a budget of 45 trillion and now it is coming to almost 50. Where is that source of money? And you are aware that also as budget committee, we tabled to parliament during the budget framework paper report, highlighting that as a country, we lose 8 trillion shillings every financial year in tax exemptions. And we've demanded Ministry of Finance to give us the list of this, who are these people that were exempting tax, and yet we are going to borrow money. Why wouldn't we now stop, reduce our debt by that eight trillion only? Tell them, you know, thank you very much for the investment, but at least for this difficult time, please pay the tax. The activities asked government to have more funds allocated not only to equip public hospitals, and health centers, but also to recruit the required staff and have the national medical stores disperse medicine in a timely and predictable manner. Richard Nandura, Chichi Family TV, News at 8.